I'm Tickety with Questlon Esports, and here's everything you need to know about Mercy. Mercy has two passives. Her first, Angelic Descent, allows her to fall slowly while in midair by holding the jump key. Her second passive, Regeneration, causes her to heal slowly over time after not taking damage for a short time. This healing will stack with the support roll passive. Her primary fire uses her Caduceus Staff to channel a yellow beam of healing onto a targeted ally. Mercy can maintain the beam as long as she's able to maintain line of sight with her target. Her secondary fire also uses the Caduceus Staff, but this time it will channel a blue beam that increases the damage done by her target. Mercy can also swap to her secondary weapon, the Caduceus Blaster, which fires projectiles that do a surprising amount of damage. Her first ability is Guardian Angel, fly towards a target ally. This has a very short cooldown and a lot of flexibility. You can cancel your movement from this ability mid-flight in three different ways. Either recast the ability to stop your movement short, press crouch to be launched vertically, or press jump and a direction to be launched in that direction. Her second ability is Resurrect. Bring an ally back from the dead at full health. Allies that are eliminated around you will leave behind a visible marker which allow you to cast this ability when in close proximity. This does have a fairly long cast time and will leave you vulnerable for the duration. Be careful when going for a resurrect since getting crowd controlled or killed yourself during the cast time will cancel it. Mercy's ultimate is Valkyrie. Fly in any direction and her abilities will be enhanced for the duration of this ultimate. You can hold jump or crouch to move up or down in midair respectively. The regeneration passive will no longer be interrupted by damage. The beams from the Kadusha staff will deal increased healing and branch out from their target and affect multiple allies in range. And the Kadusha's blaster will have unlimited ammo. The main benefits from this ultimate are the added survivability from the mobility and health regeneration, which can allow you to go for riskier resurrections, as well as the beams affecting multiple allies, which can allow you to burst heal multiple low health members or amplify the damage of your entire team. Mercy's role is that of an enabler. She's great at adding value to her teammates, but doesn't create a lot of place herself. Because of the strong mobility options that Guardian Angel provides, your positioning is very flexible. You'll want to use that mobility to keep yourself safe and keep multiple allies in range to fly to to get yourself out of trouble when needed. My advice is to prioritize your damage boost over your healing whenever possible. Healing your team is important and shouldn't be ignored, but it's far from the only part of Mercy's kit. Look for opportunities to add damage to allies looking for aggressive plays, like those using an aggressive ultimate or taking advantageous angles. Think of it this way. The healing you do will help you bail water out of a sinking ship, and the damage boost you apply will add wind to the sails to get you and your team moving faster. Heroes never die, but your team definitely will, so you better get out there. You should really get that looked at.